next two videos, we'll look at mitosis and meiosis. These are two similar processes of cells dividing. First, we'll talk about mitosis. Organisms that are multicellular, as well as single-celled organisms, undergo mitosis. Mitosis is when a cell divides to create two new cells. The new cells get the exact same number of chromosomes as the original cell. Multicellular organisms are able to grow and repair damaged tissues through mitosis. It is because of mitosis you went from a fertilized egg to the person you are. Mitosis is actually also how single-celled organisms reproduce. Cells go through a cell cycle to divide. As it is a cycle, the cell cycle is usually drawn as a circle. Cells spend the most time in a phase called interphase. Interphase is split into three sections, G1, S, and G2. During the G1 phase, the cell grows. The number of organelles increases, as does the volume of cytoplasm inside the cell. During the S phase is when DNA is replicated. An unreplicated chromosome is shown as one strand and is often called a chromatid. All the chromosomes double during this replication, so then a human cell would now have 92 chromatids. The G2 phase is another time for the cell to grow, like during G1. Now that we've gone through interphase, the cell is ready for mitosis. Mitosis has five main phases. First is prophase. During prophase, the nuclear membrane disintegrates, the chromosomes condense, and centrioles and spindle fibers appear. That copy of each chromatid is next to the original, and we call them sister chromatids. They have a centromere holding them together, how we normally picture a chromosome. Next, metaphase is when sister chromatids move towards and line up in the middle. During anaphase, the sister chromatids separate at the centromere and move to separate sides. They do this from those spindle fibers pulling on them. Telophase is next. During telophase, nuclear membranes begin to form around each side of chromosomes. Those chromosomes decondense and become a general mass of genetic material. The cells also start to divide. Lastly, during cytokinesis, the cell actually divides into two. Now you have two new cells. Those cells can then go on to do their own cell cycle and create even more cells.